In the previous episode, not much really happened. Our guy Lu Sheng spent the whole chapter just getting to the arena, and of course, best girl Snowy, a.k.a. his wife, showed up to cheer him on. But this time, the competition has a little twist. Instead of the usual routine, not only were they allowed to use weapons, but they were also told to team up and fight Lu Sheng alone. Yep, you heard that right. All of them were against Lu Sheng. But as we can all expect, our boy will likely whoop everyone's ass. But how would he do it? Well, let's wait and see. Now back to the story. All the general stars just stood there, completely stunned. Sure, they'd all heard the legends about Lu Sheng. But really? Is the whole squad ganging up on one guy? Did the military really think this was a good idea? Even the butler, trying to keep his cool, whispered to Lu Sheng, saying nothing like this has ever happened. Not just in the Eastern Military District, but in the whole history of the nation. And how does Lu Sheng react? Just a casual smile, like he's not bothered at all. Meanwhile, the butler was losing it, muttering that having 400 grandmasters and great grandmasters pile onto one man was just plain crazy. Perhaps even the top great grandmaster would get drowned in that crowd. Outside, the audience was going wild, except for Snowy. She looked quite worried. On the other side of the district, Ming was glued to the live stream, his fists clenched, thinking that this was unfair. Meanwhile, Dong Shengyi frowned, completely confused by the military's bizarre plan. And then, back on the platform, with the whole arena buzzing, the marshal finally spoke. He scanned the crowd of general stars below and told them to calm down. This is an order, he said. If they don't want to participate, feel free to leave any time. The tension in the air began to settle, though some of the weaker grandmasters were visibly shaking under the marshal's intimidating aura. The marshal, still standing on the platform, turned his gaze to Lu Sheng and asked if he had any objections. In his mind, this whole thing was his grand show for Lu Sheng, as he believed this was a stage laid out just for him. Now, it all came down to whether Lu Sheng had the guts to take it on, and more importantly, whether he could handle it. If he succeeded, his name would be forever etched into the history of the Eastern Military District. Years down the line, they'd still be telling stories about him. But if he failed, well, then he'd just be another prodigy general star, nothing more, nothing less. Maybe a topic of casual gossip over lunch, and eventually everyone will forget about him. At that moment, all eyes were on Lu Sheng. And then, with a smile, he finally spoke. No objections, he said coolly. Honestly, for him, he thought this competition was going to be boring. However, this makes things much more interesting. The marshal laughed heartily, clearly pleased. To remain calm under such pressure and even say, this makes things interesting, it showed incredible nerve, vision, and confidence, as he believed that only a handful of people could match even a fraction of that. Well then, the marshal declared, let the competition begin. With his command, everyone moved into the arena. The general stars, some armed themselves with weapons, slowly made their way onto the stage. However, their eyes never left Lu Sheng. But as they looked closer, they noticed something strange. His hands were completely empty. Had he forgotten his weapon? Even the marshal noticed and immediately ordered someone to fetch Lu Sheng a weapon. The butler, eager to help, volunteered right away. But just as he was about to rush off, Lu Sheng stopped him. Everyone stared at him, confused. Then Lu Sheng, with the same calm smile, said that if he used a weapon, he was afraid no one would leave there alive. His words felt like a bombshell dropped right on everyone's head, and the once buzzing arena fell completely silent. His words echoed in everyone's minds. It wasn't what he said, but how he said it. Calm, matter of fact. Like he was just stating the most obvious thing, but that sounded way too cold. And of course, it left more than a few people feeling uneasy. Of course, not everyone was impressed. Some hot-headed folks thought Lu Sheng's confidence was way over the top, even quite arrogant. The marshal himself froze for a second before a sly smile crept onto his face. This level of confidence? He liked it. He was getting more excited about the competition by the second. As all the general stars entered the arena, the atmosphere became very tense. All eyes were on Lu Sheng as they began circled around him. However, our boy just stood there, cool as ever, turning his gaze to Dong Sheng Yi and calling out his name. Dong Sheng Yi answered and walked forward. His powerful grandmaster aura was enough to have people instinctively stepping aside, pointing at Dong Sheng Yi. Lu Sheng tells him to watch closely, to really pay attention, and in that instant, his aura exploded. 
one step. That's all it took for him to shatter the collective Grandmaster aura of everyone around him. The very air seemed to warp around him and twisted. With a surge of energy that shot skyward, Lu Sheng stomped down. This was the beginning of him, tearing through Dong Sheng Yi's martial path. At that moment, every single general star felt the crushing weight of his power. Many couldn't even stand. Some dropped to the ground, struggling to breathe, their bodies trembling under the sheer force of it. The crazy part? They could tell this was all just his physical strength. No tricks, no fancy techniques. Just pure, raw power. Lu Sheng then calmly raised one hand, his energy swelling like the force of heaven and earth itself. And this is what he called the first phase, strength. With what seemed like a simple punch, Lu Sheng unleashed a terrifying shockwave. Some of the smarter ones, those who knew their limits, didn't even wait. They just jumped right off the platform. This punch, which only included his pure physical strength, was aimed straight at Dong Sheng Yi. Dong Sheng Yi quickly gathered all his internal energy, bracing himself to block the attack. He was in awe. Lu Sheng's physical power was downright monstrous. But under the force of that shock wave, the protective internal energy that most grandmasters took pride in, the one that usually felt like an unbreakable wall, crumbled like a piece of flimsy paper. Many of the other general stars were already out of the fight, too drained to keep going. Dong Sheng Yi, though still standing, was covered in wounds. Even the marshal, watching from the sidelines, could hardly believe what he was seeing. He thought to himself, this is insane. A punch with nothing but raw power behind it, and not a single general star could handle it. Lu Sheng, he figured, was practically a monster wrapped in human skin. Nonetheless, Lu Sheng stayed calm as ever, not even breaking a sweat. Meanwhile, the other general stars were starting to panic. Just one single attack and most of them were already gasping for air. Those who managed to stay on their feet were shaken. Lu Sheng casually dusted off his clothes and with a smirk asked if they were ready to surrender. As he said this, he shot a teasing glance at Dong Sheng Yi. However, he knew the gap between them was massive but wasn't ready to throw in the towel. Refusing to back down, Dong Sheng Yi declared, General stars can be killed but never humiliated. He urged the others to fight with him and took the lead, transforming his internal energy into a weapon before launching a full-force attack at Lu Sheng. And now comes the second phase, defense. Suddenly, a powerful aura radiated from him. Dong Sheng Yi's strike, his absolute best effort, was suddenly stopped. Or precisely, his attack was blocked by an invisible barrier just a few centimeters from Lu Sheng's body. No matter how much power Dong Sheng Yi poured into the attack, he couldn't even crack Lu Sheng's internal energy. The others quickly snapped back to reality, rushing to stand behind Dong Sheng Yi, their auras flaring up in unison. They were determined to break through Lu Sheng's defense no matter what. On the sidelines, Lin Wan Wan gasped in surprise. This was the first time she'd ever seen so many general stars teaming up against a single person. She thought, isn't this the kind of thing only a martial saint could pull off? Could Lu Sheng already be at that level? After all, these were the strongest general stars the Eastern Military District had to offer. Could he really hold his ground? In the next moment, their combined force finally broke through his internal energy. As energy dispersed, Dong Sheng Yi realized with a glimmer of hope that they'd done it. They'd broken his defense, but as the dust settled, the reality hit them like a punch to the gut. Their all out attack had barely torn Lu Sheng's clothes. Lu Sheng looked down at the tear in his shirt, chuckled, and asked if they were trying to tickle him. One of them, utterly shocked, stammered, How is this possible? His strength is insane, but how is his defense this strong too? But before they could process what had happened, Lu Sheng was now on the third phase, blood energy. With a casual step forward, the entire arena cracked like a spiderweb beneath his feet. Some of them even lost their balance, nearly falling over. Behind Lu Sheng, a shadowy figure emerged, his own energy taking form a technique that only people with an overwhelming amount of blood energy could pull off. Lu Sheng had his fun and was ready to end it all. Without a second thought, the figure floating above him slapped the remaining general star off the arena like they were nothing. The few top generals and even the marshal were left speechless. They had no idea how to even calculate Lu Sheng's combat power anymore. Thirty stars? Forty? Maybe even fifty? Because even for them, it was impossible to pull off something like this. Now, 
Only Dong Shengyi remained standing, trembling as he looked around at the unconscious general stars scattered across the field. He was speechless, overwhelmed. Meanwhile, Lu Sheng is already in front of him, ready to move on to the fourth phase, technique. Before Dong Shengyi could react, Lu Sheng closed the distance, his hand stopping just an inch away from him. With a calm and almost effortless punch, he struck. Dong Shengyi tried to defend it with his internal energy, but it melted away just as quickly. Then, he was sent flying, coughing up blood as he desperately fought to stay conscious. Lu Sheng glanced down at Dong Shengyi, casually asking, So, is that enough for you? But by now, Dong Shengyi couldn't even respond, and shortly after, his body limp and fell unconscious on the ground. Without another word, Lu Sheng turned and walked away. The marshal, still watching from the stands, finally pieced it all together. A single punch to take out a top great grandmaster? This had to be the legendary Fourth Realm, a technique so advanced that most martial artists hadn't even heard of it, and only those at the martial saint level could ever hope to master it. The marshal sat down, struggling to calm himself. He had thought he was merely offering Lu Sheng a stage, a grand showcase. What he hadn't expected was that he'd witnessed the rise of a god, or rather a living legend in the making for the Eastern Military District. At this point, the marshal couldn't even begin to predict Lu Sheng's future. Would he rise to become the next marshal? Or perhaps reach the rank of Marshal Saint? Maybe even something greater? 